Hey, this is Jimmy. Who's this? I hope you're happy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello? I hope you're happy. <laughs> this is Hillary supporter, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I figured I figured that out. Hey, I, well, happy about what? Kamala Harris is dead. <laughs> <laughs> what? And you murdered her. <laughs> what did I do? You know what you did. She's not dead, Hillary supporter. She just dropped out of the race, buddy. When people are denied their destiny, that's sort of a death. A metaphorical <laughs> death, if you will. And when that is forced on them, that's basically murder. You should be in fucking jail. <laughs> Nobody forced Kamala Harris to run a flimsy campaign or backtrack on Medicare for All or, or boast about prosecuting poor people and nonviolent offenders. Oh, please. <laughs> Give me a break. Spare me. <laughs> Don't even. <laughs> and, by the way, nice job with your Kamala Harris as a cop trope. Way to be insanely racist. Uh... <laughs> Sorry to break it to you, but she called herself California's top cop. Oh, my God. How many people do I have to explain this to? Okay. Take notes if you have to. Newsflash. People of color can call themselves things that white people are not allowed to call them. Cop? Just stop. You can't say it, you idiot. That's my point. <laughs> And now our one chance of electing a woman of color president is gone. No, Tulsi Gabbard is still in the race. Do not say her name to me, ever. <laughs> she is Hillary's enemy, and therefore she is lower than whale shit to me. <laughs> Besides, she doesn't even count as a POC. She's just from Hawaii or whatever. <laughs> okay. With Hillary, we would have had our first female president, but with Kamala... A woman of color, America would have had its first queen. You know, Hillary supporter, when white people use the word queen to describe somebody just because they're black or brown in sort of a pandering way, that's actually racist. Oh, no, nah, no, you don't. Nice try, sir. I'm an ally, so I can say whatever I want. Yes, queen. Queen Kamala. Queen. Get it, girl. <laughs> You're the racist one. Oh, is that so? You know, you call yourself a comedian, but I've never heard you call Donald Trump orange once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess we should look into that. So who is your candidate now, Hillary supporter? Oh, it's still Elizabeth Warren. Wait, Kamala Harris wasn't even your candidate? No, she was not my candidate. But her candidacy was more important to me than anyone else's. Does that make sense? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, well, I wouldn't expect you, of all people, to understand complex, nonlinear thinking. Well, by nonlinear, you mean nonsense? How dare you? <laughs> you know. What? You know what they're saying. <laughs> um... It's not too late for a certain somebody to get in the race. Oh, God. Oh, I'm giddy just thinking about it. Can you imagine, Jimmy? She's so wonderful. Yeah, she's dreamy. Hillary. The name still gives me goosebumps. <laughs> How wonderful would it be if she jumped in and became the nominee? And lost to Donald Trump a second time? It would be just like 2016 all over again. I could be furious and lash out at Bernie Sanders online and call you up and call you a pig. Ah, oh, such heady days. Yeah, just like old times. Something tells me you're going to be hearing a lot from me next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I look forward to it. Well, I don't, you racist internet man. <laughs> Talking to you is a necessary and disgusting task, like cleaning the toilet. Hillary supporter, you called me. Don't dictate my reality to me. <laughs>
<laughs> Come see our live show. We're going to be in Honolulu on December 27th. We'll be in Portland, Oregon, and then we go to Tempe, Arizona, San Jose, California, Sacramento, Miami. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all the tickets for all our live shows coming to a town near you and become a patron or support the Jimmy Dore Show. We give you hours of bonus material every week. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com. Become a premium member. Thanks for your support.